Today we're going to have a look at the new RC Sketcher and I'm going to use these lines as center lines and I'm going to use it to create beams, slabs and columns and also tie things together with loose bars. So we're going to be adding members, modifying members, showing loose bars and how to save and restore the project. Okay, so I'm just going to start by drawing some lines in Rhino. And I'm just drawing them randomly. These are all connected at right angles, but there's no reason that they need to be connected, so I'm going to do this one loose at any angle. And the way you add them is you inherit them into this member curve component. So set multiple curves and then you say refresh. And there it's drawn in the reinforcement for those members using these as the center lines. And you'll see that it's moved the extent of the RC box back slightly from the line center line so that it's got a correct connection in any case where the lines meet. And of course, I can just move these lines wherever I want and the reinforcement will follow. So the reinforcement's coming from this RC property component where it's got the size, cover, all the top bottom transverse or leak reinforcement, etc. and the spacing. Now the new thing you can do is update some of these members and you can see their number clearly on the top there. So for example, say I wanted to double the width of some of this some of these members and double the width and I'll add uh, some additional top bars and I'll put a cog on the top for both ends and the direction is in. I'm going to apply this to member 0 and 3 so I just say apply and then refresh and there you can see it's updated 0 and 3, they're the wider beams now They've got cogged bars at the end, at the top, top Rio, and it's also updated the length of member one so that it's a clean join. Now the advantage of having members numbered like this is that I can add some loose bars just by using that number. So one of the new components is the loose bar component. You've got L, Z and D bars. So for example, you can see here that 0 and 1 have no continuity of reinforcement there. So really I want something to join these members together. So for that I'm going to use a D-bar and the way I do that is I select D-bar, I say which member I want the D to come out of, which is 1 in this case, and then I've got my properties and I'm going to say that at the start of the member number one, I'm going to have some D bars and they're going to be two hundred long. Whoops. Or they're going to go um, extend out from the end of the beam by minus two hundred. 
because 200 would go into the beam minus 200 goes out of the beam and we don't need the z bar height and we don't need top and bottom so if I say apply on that it's put two d bars in because the d the uh, location across the beam are controlled by x pos which is so it puts one 90 mil and minus 90 mil from the center line in plan so I actually want that to extend further out so I'm going to change this if that's 200 I'm going to do 600 it's better let's say 700 that makes sense because it's an 800 wide beam isn't it so okay there we go that's a bit better and I actually want that a bit longer too now there we go now we've tied those bars uh, those two beams together the zero and one member together with some D bars So as well as beams, you can do slabs and columns. So columns, for example, I'm just going to draw in some vertical lines. And if I add all those lines into my update members and refresh, it'll bring them in as columns with the same RC properties defined by that component. Now you might want to change that to a square column or add some additional bars top and bottom or sides. For this number four I can turn that into a change in beam height that I've shown in a few other videos and for that I just need the legs and I'm going to put Z bars in. So if I just want to turn the top and bottom bars off I can easily do that by just setting these as zero and then if I apply and refresh then I can add my Z's I won't go into detail in that because I've done it twice before have a look at the other videos if you want to see that and to do a slab all you need to do is change the properties of the member so say two meters wide and I'm going to make it a 200 thick slab and instead of legs we want transverse bars I'll make them at 200 centers And top bars we need say 10 same with bottom bars and I'll get rid of the side bars and I'll just draw in a slab line and then bring in that curve Now we have a slab and of course I can move that around to line it up with my beams I'm not going to do that right now and you can tie it all in with L bars or Z bars or just extend the bars out to tie them in to the other beams etc So the last thing you want to do is save your work once you've done it and that's pretty easy with this script. All you've got to do is save the Rhino file and that's got your center lines of your members and up here there's save state all, another component so all I've got to do is get the RC save state and inherit the properties from this component here I'll just copy and paste that and I'll internalize data 
and then when I come back and load it in I'll just connect that to that and say overwrite and it should bring back all those properties so let's try that now okay so I've closed and reopened Rhino I've gone to recent and opened that file that I saved now this RC save state I'll connect that to there and I'll say overwrite and then we've got a refresh and there it's drawn it all again and I have to refresh the loose bars as well there's the Z that I half did and the D from earlier thanks for watching this structured parametrics video Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.